I've got them, the magic keys. Just kidding, but we're learning more about it today. The time has finally come. We've been waiting for so long to see what Disney's going to do with the annual pass system at Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And today, we have all the details about what Disney has officially announced and even rumors of something new coming to Walt Disney World. Let's go over everything we know today. Disney starts off their post by letting us know that they know that we're eagerly waiting to hear how we're going to visit Walt Disney World and Disneyland in the future. They know, they know we're excited to hear about the future and now we've got all those details. The new system that's gonna replace the Disneyland, not World for the moment, we'll get back to World in a minute. The Disneyland annual pass holder system is called the Magic Key. So what you do is you take one of these keys, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. The Magic Key system is going to be similar to annual passes that we have at Walt Disney World and Disneyland from the past, but with the, some big changes. I wanna go over them here with you. Starting off with the Imagine Key. Imagine this like the silver level annual pass at Walt Disney World, close, not quite similar, for $399 for the year. Doesn't sound too bad. You get a reservation-based admission, meaning you have to have reservations no matter which key you get in the Magic Key system, right? So there's no way to avoid reservations using this system. Disney did this to avoid some of the crowd problems that they've had in the past and that they probably would have had in the future as well. A lot of people want to go to Disneyland and Disney World, so the reservation system makes it easier for them to know how many people will be there and if there is availability. The Imagine Key is only available to Southern California residents and it includes up to two park reservations at a time. So you can only hold two at any given time. In addition, 10% off select merchandise and select food and beverage items. Now, before we jump into the next key, I do want to talk about the reservation system at Disneyland because from what I, and I've read ahead a little bit, from what I've read, it does appear that you'll need a reservation for Disneyland and California Adventure. Now, Disney may clarify this and say that that's not the case, but right now, now anyway, it does look like you'll need a reservation at Disneyland and California Adventure. So with the Imagine Key, the idea is that you'd only be able to get one or the other. And park hopping would take two reservations. I can't confirm that right now given the information that we have. However, that's what it looks like. I'll keep you updated if I learn anything differently. Next up, we've got the Enchant Key, which is $649 for the year. It includes four park reservations that you can hold at a time, along with 10% off merchandise and food and beverage items. Then we have the Believe Key, second to highest level key, $949 for the year. Reservations for Disneyland and California Adventure. You've got six park reservations at any given time. 10% off merchandise, 10% off food and beverage, and 50% off, this is the big one, theme park parking. The parking piece is more important than I think anyone realizes, and 50% off for the Believe Key. So let's pretend for a moment that parking costs $20 a day. Just pretend number, just makes it easier to do the math. And let's say you have the Enchant Key, right? You have that key and you say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna go to the park mm, 10 times this year. 10 times with an Enchant Key that costs $649. You say to yourself, okay, that's not too bad, $649, you know? Uh, let me go 10 times. Keep in mind, given the idea that $20 per day per parking, you'd be paying $20 10 times, $200 in parking just by visiting 10 times. That would be $849, which is $100 less than the Believe Key if you simply go 10 times, given our math of $20 per day for parking. This is really important to pay attention to. I know you say to yourself, oh, you know, parking, you know, does it really matter? It matters. If you live in the area, I'm, I'm trying to look out for you here, it matters. If you are planning on driving, keep that in mind. Parking is not included with the Imagine or the Enchant Key, and only 50% covered with the Believe Key. Very important. The highest tier magic key that Disney has officially announced is the Dream Key. It is $1,399 for the year. You get six park reservations, 20% off merchandise, 15% off select food and beverage, and theme park parking is included. Now I say that this is all they've announced now because we don't have any kind of passport system, which was the ticket for Disneyland and Walt Disney World. I have no doubt we'll see something like that in the future, but it might take months, year, it might take a while. But I'm glad we have this system. This is great. We've got something. Fantastic, you can start booking and getting your magic key August 25th, 2021. Something else important to include here, photos are not included with any magic keys at this time. We don't know if that's gonna change in the future, but right now, the photo package is not included with any of those magic keys. Disney World, you've got the photos included with many of the annual passes. Disneyland, it doesn't look like it. We'll keep track of that. Now, if you're a magic key holder, things change for you at Disneyland. 
Interesting, right? The Magic Key Terrace is going to have special offerings at festivals for Magic Key holders. That is very interesting. The more I think about the Magic Key system, the more I think about Universal Orlando in this area. Because if you think about the annual pass system that they have, the second highest and highest tier annual passes include parking. The other tiers do not. as 50% parking and then parking you have to pay for out of pocket. So Disney, in a way, with, with the Magic Key system, appears to be mimicking a lot of the things we see at Universal Orlando, including that terrace. Think about the annual pass holder lounge in Universal. It's just another similarity there. Very interesting to see. In addition, Disney has announced the Magic Key Portal in the Disneyland app, which is going to allow you to be more deeply engaged with our community. So I don't think that means that it's going to be like, you know, us talking like on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. That's not what this is. I think this is going to be Disney's way of kind of announcing things in the future for those who have magic keys. They're going to be able to say, look at the portal, you'll find the information there. I think it's more like a like an announcement or a blog area. That's my guess. Now, if you become a magic key holder within 66 days of it opening, very interesting they chose that for 66 years of Disneyland, you're going to get some unique items such as the uh, premium branded pin, celebratory button, magnet, and more. That is very exciting. In addition, you'll also have the opportunity to go to the very special Starcade in Tomorrowland. Very cool. Special photo opportunities, charging stations, and fun surprises. Disney is definitely trying to change up how the annual pass system works in a way that kind of, I think they're focusing on crowds, of course money too, but they're also trying to kind of make more advantages there. So we'll see how it works. I'm excited to learn more about this. Now Disney didn't leave us here in Florida waiting at the very end of their post. Those wondering about Walt Disney World annual passes, new pass sales will become available in time for the start of the 50th anniversary celebration. Walt Disney World will be sharing additional information and details later this month, so be sure to stay tuned to DisneyWorld.com and Disney Parks blog for more information. That is so exciting. I know a lot of friends are gonna be super excited to hear this. It is such, such good news to hear that annual passes are indeed coming back at Walt Disney World. Now, Disney did not say if they're going to change the Walt Disney World annual pass system now. We don't know what the future of the system will look like. My guess is it's going to be relatively similar, and the Magic Key program is almost a, a test, more or less, to see how it does at Disneyland. But remember, Disneyland and Walt Disney World are very different places, more of a local park and more of a destination area. So very, very different. I'm excited, though, to see how the Magic Key system works. Overall thoughts on Magic Key. I think it's good. I think it's a great way to kind of address some of the problems that they've been having in terms of crowds. That's it. It's just a crowd thing. I mean, they're, they're just trying to make it as magical as possible, still continue to make money, and they're trying to make more money, especially if crowds go up. They're going to raise prices. That's just how it works. So they're going to do that. But the photo package not included and parking not included, I think are going to be some of the sticking points, which is why I think the dream key is actually going to be the most popular. I know it's, it's extremely expensive, extremely expensive. If you're not parking and you're staying at a resort, when you go, then it, you don't need the dream key, right? Because the parking, you don't really, you don't mind. But if you are planning on going frequently and you do park there, you got to look at the parking costs. That's a really big piece of this. Do not overlook that because you go 20, 30 times and you don't have parking included, you may end up, you know, being better off with the dream key anyway. So just look at those numbers for yourself. Make sure it makes sense for the number of times you're planning on going to Disneyland with that magic key. Another big question that's come up because of this, will annual passes cost more when they return at Walt Disney World? I think the answer is pretty easy. I think the answer is yes. Even a small amount, I think it's easy to predict that there will be an increase in price at Walt Disney World for annual passes. That being said, I don't see the system changing that much considering their language here. They're saying that they'll be selling them again Again, that's all they said. They didn't say more. It doesn't mean that it's for sure, right? We may see a totally different system, but it's definitely going to have to integrate with what we currently have at Walt Disney World because our annual pass system still exists at Disney. So they'll definitely work something out. I have no doubt annual passes will be back at both parks before you know it, and we'll be able to go all the time. It's going to be so much fun. Those are the details about the magic key coming to Disneyland before you know it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good idea, bad idea. What do you think of photo pass and the photo package and parking and will you be getting one? Let me know. Love to hear from you. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.